Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737, and today is uh, we're going to be doing the daily reading for December 10th. I'm very sorry for being lacking on this. This is my fault. I'm sorry about it, but I'm here now. We're going to get into it. It's the Advent season. It's a really important season because this is the season in which we'll end up celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. He is our Lord and Savior. And it's an amazing time of year. Now, granted, there's lots of dispute over when he was actually born. I think he would have actually been more born around the time of around the time of Halloween, not literally on Halloween. So that's another reason for me to, to really love that part of the, the, the year a lot, too. But it, it doesn't matter because we're celebrating his birth. This is going to be the second Sunday of Advent that we're doing a reading for. And let's get right into it. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak uh, tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expedient. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be received, revealed, and all the people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up on the high mountain, Zion, herald of glad things. Cry out at the top of your voice. Jerusalem, herald of good th news. Fear not. To cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for His proclaim, for He proclaims peace to His people. Sorry for the tongue tie. Near indeed is His salvation to those who fear Him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The second reading. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord... One day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this, this way, what sort of persons ought you be, to be conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and ha in hastings, uh, hastings, the coming of the day of God? because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to the, his promise, he w await new heavens. We await new heavens and a new earth, in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. And the final reading is from the Gospel of Mark 1, 1 through 8. Beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah, the, the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way, a voice of one crying out in the desert. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. 
join, I mean, John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River. As they acknowledged their sins, John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey, and this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to, st to stoop and loosen the thongs of my sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. I love all this. I hope you got a lot out of this. This is an important time of year, and this is an important message. Peace be with you all, and have a great day and a great Advent.